Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another like palette swatch and review slash tutorial on my eyes. This time it is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's. I know this palette has been out for a lot. Oh my gosh, it matches my background. Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you've seen my Black Friday haul, you saw that I just picked this up over Black Friday. I have been kind of like lagging on Juvia's place palettes just because I the only other one I own so far is the Nubian and it was good but I wasn't like totally blown away by it and so I wasn't like collecting a lot but this was on sale at Ulta and I picked it up so I wanted to sort of play with it with you guys. So here is what the packaging looks like. It does not have a mirror like most of her other palettes but there are nine very beautiful very big pans of eyeshadow in here and I think that's just like what she's famous for. She's famous for giving you a lot of product for the price that you pay, which is amazing. And I know this red has, uh, has been dipped into. It's because I did try this red as part of my Christmas tutorial and it wasn't like the color that I expected it to be. And so like I put down this palette and like started working with palettes I knew. But yes, I wanted to swatch all the other ones for you and try them on my eyes. So because I will probably butcher some of the names of the colors that are in here, I am just going to go ahead and list them on the screen. And so there are six shimmers in here and three mattes. Oh my gosh, just dipping my fingers into these. They are so soft and buttery. Oh my gosh. These colors. Okay, these shimmers. Do you see that, you guys? I need to like actually stand up. The shimmers are super amazing so far. And here are the next three. These are also all shimmers. Like look at how well they swatch so far. Absolutely amazing. And lastly, these are the last three colors and these are all mattes and I feel like I've picked up a little bit too much product and it is just everywhere. But the mattes swatch well as well. This is a brighter pink. Okay, so I like picked this up thinking it was gonna be a maroon when I was doing my Christmas look and it turned out to be like this shade of a dark pink and I was like super confused and I panicked. Anyway, so here are what all the swatches look like for this palette and they all swatched amazing. Okay, so I am going to go right into these. I'm very excited to try these. I'm going to start with this sort of like the, the lightest color in here, this like terracotta color. I am taking this on a big fluffy brush, putting this into my crease as a transition. You know how this goes. This is kind of how I start every look. So I kind of just pick a lighter color and I have at it with my crease. You guys, the blendability of this color is absolutely insane. Like, I hope this is showing up well on camera, but I am not having to like try very hard at all to get this to be very pigmented and just blended and smoked out. And I am loving this. So next I am taking this darker brown color. This is sort of the darkest color that is in the palette right now. Taking it on a smaller brush, putting it in the outer corners of my eye. Almost kind of bring it into the crease a little bit into the center, but not so much that, like I'm not doing a halo eye look. You know what I mean? So I'm also very impressed with this color. I don't know why these colors are like showing up a little bit warmer on my skin than they did in the swatches. Like I feel like these browns are pretty standard brown, but I feel like they're, they're turning up a little bit like a brown red on my eyes. You know what I mean? Like a warmer brown. So just like a lot of my eye looks I've been doing lately, I'm going to be doing a cut crease. I just feel like that just helps the shimmer stand out so much better. So I am taking the Beige Cosmetics Pro Concealer again. This is just every time I use this, every time I do a cut crease. Sorry if it's getting old, but it's like my favorite one because of the way the tube is shaped. I don't like when the concealer is like has the wand in it, you know, I just don't feel like that is quite as sanitary, especially because I'm trying to pick it up with a brush. But just doing a standard cut crease with this, going halfway across my eyes, um, yeah, pretty much the same as I do all the time. Okay, so next, I've been dying to play with the blue, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm just going to take this blue, which is a shimmer. 
I know I usually go with my fingers, but I'm going to try this with a small stiff brush, picking that up and pushing it into the crease. I feel like application, shimmer applications using your fingers are a lot better, but it's just so much cleaner with a brush. Okay, so using a brush took a lot longer than it would have with my fingers, but I'm absolutely blown away by how nice the shimmer was. It did apply nicer on my eyes with a brush than a lot of other shimmers do, so I'm very impressed. So I popped on lashes real quick, and as I was doing that and tight lining like my upper waterline, I like poked my contact and it was just not happy with me. So I had to take the color contacts out, but we're going to move on. So I am taking both the brown, so the lighter one and the darker one, and I'm using them both to smoke out the bottoms of my waterline. I am using like a larger brush for the lighter brown and then a smaller brush for the darker brown, just because I do want the darker brown to stay closer to my eyes versus the lighter brown. I want it to be more blown out. So I also added my bottom waterline and then just some mascara down there even though I have baby lashes and you can't tell but to top off this look I am going to take this shimmer right here and I'm just popping that into the inner corners of my eyes with my fingers just to give my eyes a little bit of pop you know because it's not dramatic enough already I just dropped the palette on the floor if I like don't open it, I don't know if it's broken or not. Oh my gosh, it is not broken. Nothing shattered. I literally put this at the edge of my table and it fell face down and nothing is shattered. Just little bits came off, but oh, it had been so bad. Okay, so I'm going to quickly finish the rest of my face. I'm going to start with the Butter Bronzer from... Physician's formula, I don't know why it took me so long to just think of that. Using this to warm up my whole face and kind of just putting it everywhere. Next, I am taking the Tawny Skin Bronzer from Makeup Geek. This is a matte uh, bronzer and I'm using this as my contour, putting this on like the hollows of my cheeks. Is that what it's called? And for blush, I'm digging into this Anastasia Blush Trio for the first time. The trio is called Peachy Love, and I'm using the shade Nectarine, which is the pink on the side. And I have had other Anastasia blushes in the past. They've always been really pigmented, so really excited for this. And then for highlight, I feel like I'm just trying a bunch of new products today. Uh, this is the Becca Cosmetics highlighter. This is in the shade Vanilla Quartz. I got a set of these minis from my mother-in-law for Christmas and I just am so excited for these and I just love Becca Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this Atomic Makeup Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Lexington. It is like a dark burnt orange kind of look which I feel like is going to look really nice with the browns that I have going on and it's just, this look is like a lot warmer than I thought it would be, but I really love it. Okay, so that completes my tutorial. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No? Okay, great. So, this palette that I dropped on the floor and is somehow still alive. I absolutely love it. Like, I am actually blown away. It is like still kind of like recovering from when I dropped it. I'm so glad it's not broken. So, when I said in the beginning that the Nubian did not really blow me away, like, it truly didn't. Like, it's a good neutral palette. Like... Here it is. So the Nubian, I have not used all that often. Like you can see, I touched it a little bit. It is a good neutral palette, but it's not like, I don't know, the formulas in there aren't like super amazing. Didn't totally blow me away. I was like, you know, for the price, I, this is what I got and I'm happy with it, but not like super blown away. But this Saharan 2 palette, you guys, I now see what all the hype is about. And I might just start collecting these palettes now because the mattes just blended so well, like no effort, you guys. And the shimmer was great. Even with a brush, there was no fallout. Like I literally, I did not clean up my under eyes like on camera. I did not clean it up off camera. Like it just, there was no fallout and I'm just beyond impressed. Like there's nothing else to say. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you do enjoy these like swatches, tutorials. Even though this palette is a little bit old, I do kind of, I like doing these kind of videos to be honest. So I hope you like them as well. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.